Alrighty, I'm using my Convoy S2 long wave. And I found a different spot. It's almost like a pocket in the wall. And it looks like I can work at this with a hammer and chisel. So, we're going to see what this produces. And it looks like it's going to produce a lot. So, and this this stuff is just about to get buried. So, so we'll see how we do. Before I get to work on this wall, we'll take a quick look with shortwave. Looks like a lot of hydro zincite in this area. But that's the spot I'm going to be working on right up here and probably that line right there. But pretty much if you hear the light hum, it's short wave. And if it looks like a flashlight, it's long wave. I try to update as much as possible because I switch back and forth between the two lights. But all right, let's get to work. All right, before this gets buried in a landslide, I figured I'll take some video of it and then bag it up because it's precariously on some very unstable ground. This is what I've pulled out so far. I haven't even needed the hammer yet. And here, check this out. It's almost like geodish, big botroidal. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, botroidal. I really like that one. There's some similar stuff right there. Another similar piece right there. But I'll bag this stuff up before it all gets buried. It's all about to go down the hillside. Down the hill there's a ton of stuff too. And I'll just get to that later. Bunch already slid down. All right, I'll be back. All right, it's too dangerous to work up here anymore. Um, here's what I got so far in the second round, attacking that that rock over there. And some nice bright zincite. Big plate of it right there. Huge plate of it. And a whole bunch of smalls. I'm gonna bag this stuff up and move on. This whole this whole ledge looks like it can go and I don't wanna press my luck. But I got some nice stuff out of this area. And I'm gonna keep looking. Get a close up of this plate. Okay, so I moved over about three feet and I pulled that rock out on the left right there. And look, there's just a whole pocket full of stuff in here. So I guess I'm moving on, but I'm not moving far. And I try to extract some of this stuff and then I'll move on. <laughs> Some of this stuff is really fragile. I mean, some of it's not, some of it is. This stuff really is. Nice little pieces here.
Well, that's some pretty stuff there. And there's a lot of hydro zinc guys in it. I'll get to the I'll get to it with the short wave later. It's easier to dig with the long wave. And the long wave pretty much tells me that it's gonna look good with the short wave as well. So see what I can do here. Alright, pulling them out of this hole. Some real nice stuff. get this piece out A big one coming out oh. See how this one looks. We got some different colors in this one. And then we got all these over here that all came out of this hole. And let's let's break out the the short wave light and check these out under short wave as well. I'll grab that right now. It's in my reach. I think it is in my reach. Yes, it is. Let's turn it on and then turn off the long wave. All right, turning off the long wave and the short wave is on. Just like I thought, there's a lot of hydro zincite in this round. Let's clean this out. I forgot to get the close up of the big one under short wave. While I was pulling that big one out, this one popped out. I don't know if it got caught on video, but I figured it was worthy to show before I put them away. And I'll grab the short wave again and we'll look at this one under short wave. Some hydro zincite on this one too as well. my last video we got a, a bunch of pieces with the blue hydro zincite the green is zincite and the blue is hydro zincite 
as far as I know. Um, I have a table filled with my pieces from my last dig, and maybe at the end of the video, we will take a look at them under short wave and long wave. And also, uh, I'm gonna grab, I brought the hand truck, I'm grabbing that big, huge uh, calcite concrete block. So we'll, we'll deal with that later in this video as well. Here's something a little different. Got some oranges and reds. This is long wave. Note it's silent. Pretty cool. Here's a nice little thin plate. See how thin it is? Here's a here's a notable piece that's different. It's got some colors on it. Okay, since I brought the hand truck with me this time, I grabbed that big thick one, heavy one, the first one I found, as well as another one of these um, concrete blocks. Two of them are broken, but the, the big one isn't, isn't busted up as much. But... I think these are, I'm just guessing, but I think they're made with Sterling Hill calcite. And they're old. They're probably over 50 years old. But I figured I'd rescue them before they get buried or carted away or whatever. Destroyed. And these will need power washing, just, just like the ones in my last video. The one in my last video. But, I'm taking them to the road now. They're in the hand truck. So. And it's not nearly as tough to carry them. I can carry all three at once. Okay, I can't take these out of the bag right now. I don't have any room for them. I have the the specimens from my last dig spread out on the table in the last video. And we'll get to those in a second. But here, here's what we got. It's seven bags full, plus those three bricks. And I'll get, I'll get them, I'll hit them with the light just to get a quick look at them. But here's that 
Butcher, I don't want. Couple delicate pieces right here. Here's just a quick look at them under short wave. And then we'll get to the pieces from the last dig. Right after long wave. Fucking long one with some little plates there. Hit it with long wave and then we'll get to the pieces from the last video. I missed two of them. This is still short wave. These are the two delicate ones. And here is tonight's haul in long wave. Pretty good. There's those funky colored ones. There's that long one. I'd say we did good.